Hello everyone, it's me, Michael, and two new Batman sets got revealed about two days ago, so sorry I'm late, but I'm going to review them now. The first one is the Batman classic TV series Batmobile. This is from 1966, and you know, I never really liked the 1966 Batman that much, but the, the design for this Batmobile and the characters look so cool, and finally... Like, for once, we're getting, like, a very interesting Batmobile. Not unique, but interesting. Anyway, um, so for the Batman 1966 set, uh, there's going to be Batman and the Joker. Uh, I wish that there was Robin. That would have definitely been a plus, but maybe they were hitting the budget. I don't know. It looks like they were planning to put a Robin in there, but just couldn't. Um... There's some extra pieces that you can use so that um, uh, you can take off the stud shooters and then make the front end of the Batmobile more smooth, you know. Uh, and I just love that they're doing that now. This does also come with a display stand, which is very nice. The display stand is like the one in the um, promotional for the 1989 Batmobile. Anyway, the next one I want to talk about... Oh, wait. Before we get on to the next one, there is a, a trunk in the back of the 1966 Batmobile. So that's good. Um, anyway, next we move on to Batman, the Joker Batmobile chase. Um, it's kind of a odd title if you really sound it out a bit, but this for a 4 Plus set, this is really nice the bank or the atm whatever it is doesn't look good to me but what does look good is that batmobile and the joker vehicle uh the batmobile is really cool because it kind of looks a little bit like the 1989 batmobile which is always nice to see the joker's build just looks wacky and fun as it should and it uses a very nice piece for the chassis and the seats so um yeah, uh, the one thing that I do know from the Batmobile uh, here, two Batmobile sets coming on the same wave. Strange, I know, right? Um, but the one thing I know about this Batmobile is that it will be a bit too high off the ground. And yeah, that's unfortunate. But that will allow the little rockets on the side to move up and down freely. Anyway, the best thing about this set, and I might even consider getting this one just for this minifigure, but it's the Batgirl from the uh, that Batman uh, rig truck, you know, like uh, from last year. Um, a very nice minifigure to come in such a cheap, small set. Uh, you know, it's great to get the new 52 style of Batgirl which has to be one of my favorite designs I wasn't too big a fan of the uh new 52 version of Batman that they've been using for the last couple of years but uh I do like the new 52 Batgirl and she comes in this set and she has a nice cape and for some reason a skateboard that doesn't make much sense but um Anyway, looking at both of these sets, I'm really happy with them. We're still getting nowhere near enough as we should be getting um, for DC. But I'm optimistic for the future if they're going to do stuff like the 1966 Batmobile. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys later, so bye.